let me show you the 10 that I did. World Watercolor Month is every July. And the first one that I did, I didn't do them in order, but I kinda wanna show them to you in order. The, for July 1st was train. And so what I did with that prompt was the ultimate trainer, Yoda. <laughs> so he trained Master Luke very well. And that is the painting I made for train. The next one that I did was fast. And that one, I my daughter was turning 21 about that time. And they do grow up fast. So I found this charming little picture on either Instagram or, or excuse me, um, Unsplash or Pixabay, I think it was Unsplash, of this mom either greeting her daughter after school or saying goodbye in the morning. And just the, the look of all that tenderness right there with the two hands together, that just really, really caught my heart. Brought back a lot of memories and those kids do grow up too fast. Uh, the next one is Center. And for that one, I chose my favorite center, who is Shaquille O'Neal. I used to play basketball, as every tall girl can claim, uh, but only in high school. I didn't pursue it through college. I was um, studying to be a teacher instead, <laughs> and I, sports were not part of my, uh, my curriculum. Um, I decided to be a runner and just do that for myself and enjoy it. But I loved basketball. I never could dunk. This is a skill that incredibly impresses me. But there's Shaquille O'Neal, I just love him. I think he's a hilarious man now and he does a lot uh, after his basketball career. He's even a DJ, I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, the next one that I did was dance. And this one, frankly, it's not finished. I was gonna go back in and do some more to it, but here's a couple of pairs of, a couple of pairs, great. One pair of toe shoes. I never have used toe shoes in my life, but I understand that they are quite the skill. I am shocked to have learned that there is plaster in the toe and your toes go in like this. You're standing flat on your toes like this. It uh, sounds excruciatingly painful to me, so I have a whole new appreciation for dancers. Um, I can't dance, period. I, I wish I could, but I cannot. Let's see, travel. Um, I think this was the one before that one, but uh, two of our kids, I, I say our kids, but one is my daughter-in-law, my uh, our eldest son and uh, daughter-in-law and uh, their child, our granddaughter, live in Florida. And this palm tree is just at the end of their cul-de-sac. It's so beautiful. And I was kind of mad at myself with this one because I, I should have done the sunbeam differently, but this palm tree was just too beautiful. So I had to had to capture that. I was very impressed with Florida. I haven't been there in years and uh, they're so happy. So I'm sure that helped my opinion of Florida. <laughs> uh, the next one is, so we're showing that one, focus. And for this one, I chose to do kind of a, a two, two tone with the exception of the, the buttons there, and the light sensor, um, camera focusing. And boy, that's a familiar view of anyone who's had their picture taken in uh, anything before the cell phone days. And I hope a lot of you out there still do use a digital SLR camera. Um, they're just the best. They're so much easier to use than a phone. And I remember driving through the photo mat to have my pictures developed. And I don't know, it's just a very good memory. I was kind of nostalgic on these this month. The next one that I did is Confident. And I saw this picture of this little boy on uh, Unsplash and he looked so confident. I love his stance. I love that he's saying, look at my new clothes. I just look great. I'm so happy. Let's go play games. And I know that after the family gathering, he's not going to look this put together, but this is so cute. I just couldn't get over how cute he was. So that is Confident. The next one that I did was group. Those two that I skipped are not part of the uh, World Watercolor Month. This is my favorite group of rocks. It is the Colorado Front Range from a location very close to our home called Daniels Park. 
and uh, my daughter took the reference photo. She, um, she uses her digital SLR camera and she took this picture. This is uh, Mount Evans and Mosquito Pass and Mosquito Peak, I think. The rest of them, I'm not certain what they are. Um, I tried to replicate the view as accurately as possible. I really like the way this painting turned out. Uh, so that is group or group of rocks. And let's see, ah, ribbon. I do like this one. This gal is from the uh, brochure <laughs> in the, uh, the 1930s, 1940s. Uh, looks more like 40s or 50s with her hairstyle, but this Aero Royal typewriter is the one that I learned on. And oh my gosh, this thing, I remember it so well. That ribbon, putting the ribbon in, I remember how, the sound when you would crank this thing and uh, it's just everything about it. I have so many memories of this thing and I remember jamming up the keys, much to my parents' dismay. It was my dad's typewriter in college and I typed a lot of my papers on that uh, before I ended up getting access to an IBM Selectric. We didn't even, I was going to say computer, but that wouldn't have been until college. So yeah, uh, this was just a, a mainstay in our home and we just seemed like you always had to type something. Not anymore. Okay, now this is, these I'm not as happy with because I was testing some paints that I'm not as happy with, but I will share them anyway. This is Rest. That's our dog, Sasha. She is a Sheba, 14 years old, and this is pretty much how she spends most of her day, resting. So that's my girl. I love her so much. She is my studio buddy that I talk about, the one who has the bed over in the corner. Although right now, she is up in our bedroom on her bed there. And she will snooze, snooze, snooze until it's time to go check the mail. So that's our next event today, is checking the mail. <laughs> but this is rest. For Sasha. And the next one I did was Record. This Petula Clark album was one of my absolute favorite albums of my parents before I had a record collection of my own. She sings Downtown on here. And I just thought she was amazing. I loved her beret from the, uh, it's not really a beret even, it has a little, a little bill on it, I, but it's like a velvet. And her, her blouse is kind of a dotted Swiss and she's holding a daisy. I spent hours staring at this album while my um, while listening to it, and I would ask my parents to put it on. But Petula Clark, Color My World, Who Am I? Just love that song, Downtown. I won't embarrass you with my singing. And finally, the one that I did, in, again, in these testing paints that I'm not thrilled with. This is supposed to be Roger Moore, but it's not. Um, Sean Connery, I'm sorry, Sean Connery. 007, Goldfinger. There she is, all turned to gold. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can pick up that the gold iridescence on that. That is the one thing that these paints are great for is their iridescence, but I'll explain the issues I had with them in a later video. But the, those 10 paintings are my World Watercolor Month tour for this year. Thank you for watching.